What's up everybody? I'm back again with another sneaker video. What I got is the Dusty Olive Dunk review. And before we get to it, just wanna ask y'all drop a like, drop a sub, drop a comment. Don't be afraid to do none of that. I'm gonna go get the kicks. Just give me one second. And of course, right here, we got the kicks. Now the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the all over materials, all over the shoe. You got this nice suede. It does feel nice and soft to the touch. It's got the backstroke motions too. I don't know if you guys can see that, but right there on the toe box. The brown panels have it, the orange panels have it, and the green panels have it. They call it the dusty olive, but honestly, the orange is more dusty than the green is because the green is faded, but also this orange yellowish color is also pretty faded as well. It's a good clean colorway, especially for the fall, but I'm gonna get to that later. Now I've been seeing resale prices go up towards like 320, 300, 350 shipped. Do I think the shoe is worth that much? Honestly, no, it's a good colorway. It's got good quality. I mean, they even charged 10 extra dollars on the retail price. These were 110, but do I think it's worth 300 bucks, 310, 320 shipped? Yeah, nah, I'm not feeling that. I would definitely save my money, but as always, if you got the guap to spend it and you really like the shoe, then go out and get it. If you're wondering about the styling, again, you can go pretty much any route with the dunks. They look good with the baggy pants, slim pants, skinny pants. It's really your choice, honestly. I feel like these would go the hardest in the fall, like how I was talking about earlier. Like in the autumn, in the autumn, these are gonna go crazy. These, I mean, with the orange and the brown and the green, the orange is kind of like the autumn leaves and then the brown and the green is like the ground. So honestly, I feel like these are gonna go hard as fuck in the fall. So I would advise you to put them on ice until then, honestly, but if you wanna rock them now, you can definitely go any route. The shorts is a good option too. It's summertime, it's hot. You can definitely do that. But overall, it's a good addition to your collection. Nike did charge 10 extra dollars for these. And honestly, I'm not seeing a big improvement in craftsmanship other than a hole not being blocked off like the Spartan Dunks. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out that video. But yeah, I'm still seeing glue from where the upper connects to the midsole. And there was still some glue on my laces. Although the suede is nice, so I guess that's why they bumped it up. But honestly, other than the suede, I don't see why they charge 10 extra dollars. I mean, there's still glue here, still glue there. Some people don't care about stuff like that. But I mean, if we don't put our foot down somewhere, then, then Nike Dunks will be costing 200 bucks by 2030. You know what I mean? So that's just something to take notice of. Another thing to mention too is because of the suede panels and they seem a bit thicker, this dunk does fit me a bit snug it is a size 10 my true to size while i usually get in retros and dunks but for whatever reason this one's fitting a bit more snug than the spartan dunks and i think it's because of the suede panels them being a little bit more thicker than the spartan dunk i mean the spartan dunk had thin ass just leather panels very thin very cheap but these have more quality to it it's a bit thicker so i think that's why my big toe was touching the end right around here and i feel like if i were to wear this shoe for like a day or for a school day, eight hours plus, I think my left foot would start to hurt a little bit, but everybody's foot is different. So just take what you usually get in your Jordan retros and you should be good. I use crease shields. So that's probably another reason why it was kind of messing with my big toe and a little bit of my pinky toe, but everybody's foot is different. I'd say you'll probably, you'll, you'll be safe just sticking true to size. All right, so now it's time to move on to the legit check. Got my receipt right here. Don't know if y'all can see that. Nike Dunk SE size 10. Got mine off the sneakers pass. Shout out sneakers pass. I've been, I've been getting a lot of shoes off sneakers pass, but this is just, this section of the video is just for you to have something to compare to. So then, you know, when you get your pairing from StockX, GOAT, you can compare, see if it's looking right. If it's not, not everything has to be down to a T. This is just for you to have another thing to look at to make sure yours matches up mostly. So let's get to it. All right, so first thing we're gonna hit base on is the box. You got this red lot number on the top lid. It can be pretty much anywhere. Mine's is right here, but just make sure that you got one. And then we got the tissue paper. Tissue paper is the same tissue paper as pretty much everything that you get on your retros, whether it's the ones, the dunks, fours, threes, etc. You just got this tissue paper, semi-translucent with some stripes. And then the last thing that I noticed is you got a YCM sticker, so make sure you look for that as well. Moving on to the inside of the shoe, you got the insole right here, dusty olive all over, then the orange, yellowish Nike right here, size tag, and then on the bottom, you got the gray with a lot of glue. It was hard to get the insole out, just like the dunks, just like the other dunks. So I think they put a lot of glue in pretty much all the dunks, 
make sure you look out for that. If you don't get shoe trees for dunks, all you get is this tissue paper molded up that they throw into the shoe. So make sure you look out for this too. And the last thing to talk about is the inside of the shoe, AKA the strobe board. Now something really weird happened with my pair. You got black stitching on the right shoe and then white stitching on the left shoe. Not sure why it's like this. I mean, I really don't like it when Nike does this, makes it hard to legit check stuff. But if you see it on your pair, don't be alarmed. Mine is straight from Nike and it's got the same thing. So it doesn't mean that you got a fufu on your hands. All it means is Nike is inconsistent, really. And that's gonna do it for the Nike Dunk Low Dusty Olive Review. If you like the video, drop a like, drop a sub. Don't forget to drop a comment as well. Don't be afraid to do any of that. I gotta hit y'all with the on feet. You got me and I'm out. I want switch on my game, want switch on my brother, want switch on my game, no. Don't fuck with these niggas, put it on my mother, don't fuck with these niggas, no. These niggas be spying, them boys undercover, these niggas be spying, yeah. Ay. You know I ain't lying, I'm not like no other, you know I ain't lying, yeah. Had to stay on my ten toes. You ain't talking money, what you here for? We gon' send them shots, he gon' fail though. And I'm on your block, better lay low. We gon' run down as the case closed. Yeah, she do what I say so. I be pouring lean in a fake go. I be in the bank when the bank closed. And I'm on go like Diego. Yeah, she know I do her the best. Hoppin' that coupe CLS. Now she wanna have a little sex. I show her a couple of racks. Now she on my face cause she wanna see the rest. Damn, I been in the field like a ref. Yeah, do you smell that dope on my breath? Yeah, I heard that she fuck with the ops. Get that little hoe out the mouth on the spot. Damn, I'm counting these racks as a lot. Yeah, I'm counting these racks never stop. Yeah, I'm sending them shots on. Hey, fly like a bird. Rapping absurd. I'm scoring goals just like Marcus Rashford. I see the truth, yeah, your views is blurred. I see the truth, yeah, your views. Hey. Keep it up down, I'm just getting around I find a beat, now I'm finding the sound You shut your mouth and I'll silence the crowd You sitting down when I find the clouds Yeah, yeah Diamonds and chains, we make it rain Pull up with drip, big hurricane Go to the mall, we spend it all Call me 2-3 with the way that I ball Handle the rock, Nike my socks I go to church, I go on the rocks Taking the world, money get hurled Too many options, too many girls Fresh like a mint, never commit Should go to Oregon, the way that I sprint Run up <sighs> They just be growing like a rabbit's neighborhood, you know? Like we'll get a bucket on the basketball court They'll be like, oh yeah, Queen Latifah beauty shot <laughs>